In this video, I just want to give you a quick overview of all the new features uh, that are available now in uh, Color Lab AI 3.3 uh, beta. Um, so I'll start probably with the, with the kind of biggest news, which is that now we support all raw files. So as you can tell here, I have um, uh, basically a B-Row file, right? So it's a, it's all black magic row. Um, and the way how that works is following you basically now go into your uh, project settings here. And inside the project settings, you have a now new tab, which says row playback. And in there, it's going to tell you, hey, there is a Tin Man application that you have to install and um, you can uh, you can also request two weeks uh, free trial um, uh, on info and calibrated software.com they will give you you know free two weeks to trial it out and then um, um, when you install it it's going to automatically um, you know show up here you don't have to do anything uh, but in case it doesn't find it you can then click browse and point it to where the software is um, uh, I recommend you leave this uh, down sampling on quarter. This is probably the best, you know, for footage that's like 8K, 6K, you know, stuff like this. It just works a little bit better. And then here in this link, we're going to have a document that's going to help you then explain, you know, what to do and how to do. All right. So, so, um, so yeah. So basically, you know, this is this is now all fully working. Right. Basically, look, I'm playing back all the Black Magic Row. Now, there are certain settings you have to make as to how to process these raw files. And all of that is found inside a Tinman application. So you open a Tinman application, you go into Calibrated, you go into Preferences. And then here you have a list of all the raw files that are supported. We just don't have a license at the moment for ProRes RAW, but all of the other ones are supported, right? And then basically, for example, so if I click now on Black Magic RAW, uh, it's going to ask me what color space I want to decode it. So we recommend for Black Magic Raw, Ari White Gamut and Ari Log C. Um, for Sony, you can also basically say, hey, what's the quality? Um, what's the log processing? You can then also as well select from the list. Uh, you know, we say um, S gamma 3 dot S log 3 and so on. So what I would recommend you is you go through all of, you know, your cameras that you're going to be using and you select all of these. So you see Canon RAW, uh, JPEG 2000 XR files, DPX files, all of them are supported and they're all basically playback and all the metadata settings, how you want to decode it, how the files you know, want to be read um, to you will be adjusted here. Okay, so, so this is as, it, as it far as, um, as a Tin Man control is. Um, then I want to show you um, a new feature uh, which is basically called the auto white balance. So what auto white balance does is basically just, uh, you know, as it says, you know, that's basically auto white balancing, right? So it's just going to go and, you know, take your, your shot. And it's just going to basically, as you can tell, adjust a little bit the white balance. It's not going to try to, you know, like, you know, reinvent the look or anything like that. It's just going to try to bring, you know, you know, what would be the neutral white in this. So you see, this is a little bit too warm. So it's just going to neutralize those. And I found them that these work very well then, you know, with kind of exposure here, or then you can control your own lift come again. So it's a kind of, you know, a little bit less intrusive way of, 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 of auto balancing, right? But it works actually um, really well. Uh, another thing that we have now is a new feature they're called snapshots so you're going to find snapshots here and that's basically so look for example if I now say balance um, it creates a snapshot or, or if I say match right it creates a snapshot and now I can very quickly just switch between those so I can then quickly just look and see you know ah which ones they are what how they work and so on and then I can say maybe I want to go and adjust this guy a little bit, maybe just maybe change this a little bit like this or open a little bit highlight like this, right? Something like that. And then I can set a manual snapshot. So now I have that snapshot as well. So basically, you know, it's, it's just, you know, like allowing you to very quickly, you know, um, uh, save and switch between, you know, different versions of great. We used to call these versions, but we changed the name now just so they call it snapshots, right? Okay, so that's the one. Um, another thing then um, we added as well is we added um, Command-A feature. So now if you say Command-A or Control-A, 
um, all clips on a timeline will be selected. So this is a new one. And also if you press control, I don't have enough clips on my timeline, but if you have a longer timeline, when you press control and wheel, um, that's gonna give you scrolling um, uh, through the timeline. Uh, another feature that you, we also added is you can now right mouse click and then uh, you can say push to resolve, right? And then you can say just selection or just scene. So you don't have to anymore push the whole timeline. You can just go and, and you know, select just a few clips. Like sometimes you just want to like a basically, you know, change one clip. Now you can just go and change it and push selection as well. Um, the next one, uh, it's, uh, it's basically um, when you uh, export a still, right? And you export a still, it has the, uh, the name of your original file. Um, so this is a new. Um, and um, uh, also we have made uh, some improvements to uh, syncing with the uh, latest version of Premiere, uh, which is uh, 2025. And we also, this build fixes uh, the issue we had uh, with DaVinci Resolve 19.1. Um, and uh, basically, uh, and there are some other like, uh, you know, bugs and improvements, you know, like uh, that, that, you know, we got reported, but I would say, uh, you know, these are uh, the most important um, new features. Um, so yeah, you know, I hope you guys have fun with it and um, looking forward to any feedback and getting it ready for public release.